Science is the best invention of the universe. Good afternoon. Once again, I extend a hearty welcome to all the science lovers present on this virtual platform to the second session of today's observation of National Science Day 2021 organized by DAP Public School Chandrasekharpur. At the same time, I would like to congratulate and welcome the quiz qualifiers to this program. Well, today's science is tomorrow's technology. Yes, it's very true. It's only the technological innovation and advances that have bound us together even if during this pandemic, the impact of science, technology, and innovation is quite remarkable in the fields of education, skill development, and in our work as well. Let me mention here the theme for this year, future of STI, that is science, technology, and innovation and their impact on education, skills, and work. Keeping this in mind, the public school Chandrasekharpur has rightly taken a step to show live demonstration of scientific activities to all our students on this virtual mode. For this purpose, the school has invited an eminent scientist from Bath, that is Bhava Atomic Research Center, Mumbai. Now, I deem it my pleasure to welcome Mr. John Basan Joshi, Senior Scientist, Bhava Atomic Research Center, Mumbai, to this program. Dr. John Joshi has completed his BSc and MSc in Physics from the University of Pune and done his PhD in Physics from Bhava Atomic Research Center, Mumbai, where he is at present working as an engineer at UGC DAE Consortium for Science and Research. Apart from that, he is a life member of National Science Communicators Council. He is an active worker for the cultivation of science in the society for the last 25 years. He has designed fabricated and assembled scientific instruments, enthralling science experiments, also published many science articles and research papers in national and international newspapers, journals, and periodicals as well. Out of his long list of achievements, I have just mentioned a few. Sir, we are really fortunate to have you amidst us. I hope our students will benefit to the fullest by watching this live demo. It will surely help them to develop their skills and curiosity level. Further, we look forward to understand interesting concepts during this session. Once again, a hearty welcome to you, sir. Now, sir, it's over to you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, I express my sincere gratitude to give me this opportunity to interact with uh, students. Today is a National Science Day. So, wish you all very happy National Science Day. And as it is told that uh, today's science is tomorrow's technology. Today, I have come up with the theme, enjoy the, but also ask why. Every toy has some science and uh, you should develop that uh, habit of asking why. This WH question, very important in science. Uh, without wasting much time, I will, uh, basically I am an experimentalist. I would like to show more and more uh, experiments and uh, in particular this show, uh, more and more toys. See, all of you have played with this toy. It's very famous toy, 
and uh, right from our childhood would we make it ourselves and uh, play with that and uh, if you uh, try to understand this point uh, as a uh, what are the concept in this you will learn many aspects see this toy if i hold it like this you can see or if i just blow it will spin the question is why it spins i have another similar toy you just see its direction of spinning are opposite to each other why they are spinning opposite one is clockwise other is anti clockwise and you can very well see their shape itself is uh, opposite because when i blow it uh, those who are studying uh, standard 8th and above they will know there is something called newton's third law of motion and it states that every action has equal and opposite reaction so when i blow that air hits this blades of this toy that is action as a reaction that toy spins about this axis the reaction and that is in opposite direction so in this two the blades are in opposite direction that's why when i blow here reaction is anti clockwise when i blow here reaction is clockwise not only that if you uh, see very carefully and try different possibilities if you use thicker paper the mass of the paper will be little more and because of that its inertia will be more so it will you to blow little fast or little hard so that will also tell you the newton's first law of motion which is also known as newton's uh, a law of inertia one more thing you can understand or learn with this toy is there is something called friction and the friction is nothing nothing but the, it is the opposing force the force which opposes to the motion so when this uh, this that there is the axle and if the axle has a friction more friction it will be hard to uh, you will have to have blow hard then only see for example if i take this ahead it will spin very easily but friction is more it will not uh, spin that fast you can see so i am just take this they are spinning in opposite direction and to be uh, very see this cost uh, miss i will say it is a zero cost you can make out of whatever the materials which are available in surroundings uh, you can use uh, uh, newspaper uh, paper or you can use whatever the rough papers you have or you can use little bit uh, more decorative color paper so all those options are open but it doesn't make much difference only thing is that depending on the thickness of the paper uh, that amount of air which is required that will be different so and surprisingly the commercial well, uh, version of those are available nowadays and th in this also there are different types i myself have more than 25 uh, 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 spinning toys and they are all based on same principle you you will find it is spin but if you see very carefully see this particular toy needs to be fixed uh, on a handle of a bicycle or on some uh, other um, vehicle then it will blow otherwise uh, it will not because its mass is little more this is comparatively very light this is comparatively very heavy so for that to to spin this you will need more air thrust so that air thrust required will be gained when it is moving when your bicycle or your vehicle is moving it will rotate very easily so and it is commercially available but you can make same toy whatever the material which is available uh, you may be knowing there is a bubble uh, thorn with that thorn also this rural people or rural uh, children make this toy and they enjoy the toy you, if you just hold it in some with some stick and they will run somewhat similar to that you will find this toy
प्रिंसिपल इज अगेन सेम यू फाइंड दिस टॉय इन मोस्ट ऑफ द मेलाज और जत्रा so this toy if i just hold it like this you will see it starts rotating because there is a fan uh, here a ceiling fan i blow it the beauty of this toy is in the same axle there are two wheels and the both the wheels are up spinning in direction that is very interesting if you see very carefully the the blades of the toy um, or particular wheel are uh, bent in particular fashion whereas the for other uh, wheel they are bent in opposite direction so that that makes the diff and in which direction it is bent it, it will uh, spin in opposite direction so that bigger if you see that bigger wheel will rotate in clockwise direction and that uh, smaller wheel which is uh, at the front that will rotate in anti clockwise direction very interesting toy and you can learn lot of uh, science concept with this and we should develop this habit of understanding what is the mystery there is no uh, effect without uh, any cause so that cause and effect we should try to understand and whenever there are nowadays that toys are classified in different ways there is there is some uh, organic toys and non organic toys that organic toys is basically nothing but the all the materials which are uh, naturally available material however this uh, modern toys are many of them are made up of plastic so they are equally good but i will show you some of the toys which are organic toys but they they are a modern version with a plastic or some other materials available see although it appears this is very but if you see the uh, skill with the uh, that the artist who make it he knows the inertia he may not be using uh, the uh, word what is the mass of the paper nowadays we know what is the depending on what is the gsm that grams per square centimeter or per unit area what is the uh, mass of that particular paper that artist may not be that artistic they may not be knowing that but what type of paper they require that is their traditional knowledge rather i will say they uh, gain that knowledge out of experience so and option so if you see this particular toy even if you bend it that big big stick it can uh, regain its shape so this is very simple but the concepts or rather the properties of the material which we are using they are also equally important and we should try suppose i in particular area of the country uh, particular material is not available so you should try to get a substitute for and equally means those who are having economically uh, sound position they can buy the toys but it doesn't mean that the people who do not have uh, have that have not so those who are have not they can also find the way to get or uh, to do the same enjoy with the toy which uh, the people who are having that toy i will show you another very simple and interesting toy basically this top is again made up of a paper you will find there is a parrot and there is a cage here you just fold this paper and to save the time i have already it you see here here there is a bamboo stick or you can use that coconut uh, leaf uh, that is stem and you just rotate it you will find that parrot goes inside the cage now the question is it is not a living uh, thing it is uh, uh, not uh, what is called living and non living then how can it enter in that uh, cage if you see carefully if i rotate this very slowly you will not get that effect but if you rotate with little more uh, speed then you will find that 
the carriage appears to be inside the cage. Why it is? Many of you may be knowing, those who, are, who do not know, uh, they should try to learn that there is some topic called persistency of vision. In Hindi, it is called drushti satatya. So, our uh, there is a uh, screen in the backside the our eyeball that is called retina, and that retina has a property that it remembers the image for some time, and when the next image comes before that it will overlap, overlap those images and you will get the effect of motion because uh, and if uh, many such images come then continue you will get the continuity of that motion that's why picture is called motion picture and what is the motion picture actually images are screen in a particular speed and uh, in different books you will find that uh, number is different because in general you will find in old books it is one tenth of second means if you uh, number of images are more than 10 in a sec you will find that movement uh, uh, option but if they are less, then you will not get that uh, feeling. When it is more than that, that means uh, the next image comes before the one tenth of second. Then you will get that motion feeling. Now, the question is why it is uh, that number is different in different books? Because the technology to measure the small time interval has improved over time. Initially, it was not uh, very accurate, but uh, with the um, many accurate uh, techniques available and electronics uh, machinery available, we can measure very small duration. And with that, people have come with a more accurate number. And uh, if you know a little bit of uh, this uh, recording and uh, to this uh, cinematography uh, thing, Actually, uh, what we see, or rather what are uh, now in front of your screen, that number of images uh, passing through uh, are about 16 to 20. If they are more than that, then you find that the person is running or something. So many times, this type of effects are created by uh, screening with a higher speed. So this is a very simple toy. And uh, you can you make it yourself again. Uh, cost is not uh, uh, rather I would say it cost. You, you can also develop a creativity. You can also develop your um, uh, craft skills. See, and again there is another uh, version of that. See, one side there is a you can see there is a flower plant, and other side there is a pot. The same thing now. Rotate this, you will find that pot is in uh, that uh, plant is inside the uh, pot, and you'll find it appears that that uh, plant is planted inside the pot. Very simple toy. You can make there are different versions. You can make different stories with that, and uh, it's not only entertainment, but you learn many things. Now, as it is told in the beginning. Today's science is the tomorrow's technology. Now, I have to find some mechanism that how can I rotate this mechanically. So, here again, I have some uh, technology. See, this is the empty marker pe uh, pen uh, body. And I have put uh, some uh, this uh, uh, frame in this. And when I just rotate this you see and you get that uh, actually you see, see that parrot is inside now I can change the speed but see it's very interesting to make it and uh, once I happen to go to one of the rural area school uh, and uh, the child asked me what is this marker pen we have never come across this then uh, I was a little surprised uh, during that uh, tea break, I saw there was a bamboo tree uh, that uh, school. 
then we just took a small bamboo piece and we made that uh, a toy with the bamboo of course that the student said i want to retain it also i came only but you can make whatever the things available means you can make that different toys whatever the material available in your surrounding we'll move to the next uh, toy as i told you there are many uh, i will say traditional toys this is a doll it is made up of wood i will say it is just a piece of wood but you can make uh, many astonishing things out of that see if i um, uh, tell this doll doll to just balance or stand in uh, on a tip of my finger it will fall down but if i extend her hand you will find she balances herself and she stands on a tip of my finger the question is why when you go to the higher classes you will learn that there is something called center of mass and also center of gravity so center of mass and center of gravity in most of the cases where the mass distribution is uniform center of mass and center of gravity is same. but if the mass distribution is not uniform the center of mass and center of gravity are different so i will not go in details of all that technical see let me tell you this toy can be explained with the mathematical formulation and all formulas and graphs and all theory but that is not purpose here i want to give you the feeling that yes every toy has a science and if you want to learn that science you should go in but uh, i will not compel everybody or rather every child should try to understand the science behind the toy but those who are interested should try to understand it and it's a sort of uh, curiosity and once you get that or rather you get develop that habit everywhere where whatever you see you will try to understand what is the science behind that and this is the traditional toy there is a place in maharashtra called savantwadi in konkan area it's on a railway uh, uh, track the, these all these wooden toys are it's wooden toys for, for years together it is a traditional toys are available there and you see the modern version of that modern version of that is this So this is again this is made up of metal this is made up of wood i can say this is organic this is non organic but concept is same now the concept is center of mass mass is uh, i'll tell you in a very nutshell basically uh, if you put a, a plumb line here you will get uh, some straight line now if this is a not a symmetric body so if you just put your plumb line here you will get another uh, line here and wherever they meet together that centroid will give the you the center of mass and when your support is below or above that then body will try to remain in a horizontal or rather i will say balanced condition and the best example is what we use in our day to day life is uh, almost everybody uh, have uh, in their houses calendar is exactly supported above the center of mass now in general it is a rectangular so the uh, rectangle is a symmetric body it has a two axis of symmetry so if you see the diagonals wherever they meet at that point and above that it is supported then it will remain in horizontal condition and if it is not then it will be tilted like this so see every every science principle you should try to correlate with our day to day activity or day to day experience or day to day things which we use and you will find most of the things most of the things up to school or college level they have some or other relevance to the our day to day life so you should try to understand that and if you develop that habit then you understand the thing in better way
So uh, again, I will say there is another version of same toy. It is again based on center of mass. Many of this, most of this balancing toys are again on a center of mass. This is the traditional toy. Again, uh, I will say organic toy, and it will try to be always in vertical position. Erection. Many people it has different names in different uh, regions. Uh, in Maharashtra, it is called Besharmi. Uh, sometimes uh, it is called stand up or sada khada. It's a alagalag jaga pe alagalag naam hai. But you will find for the same organic traditional toy, you have a commercial and modern version. It is also the same toy. Again, principle is same. During our childhood, we used to make this out of bulb. We will just uh, fused bulb. We will just break it. and will fill some uh, heavy thing like a sand or some other small uh, stones uh, and uh, base of that uh, bulb will be heavier so it used to be always vertical again principle is same these are very simple toys and you can make see this also you can make yourself it's not that you cannot make another version uh, another toy is this again i will say it's organic toy and not only organic uh, it's very easy to make also you can also make out of cardboard what is it if you just hold it like this it will balance itself and it has its stand now if i hold it like this you just see it balances but not only that if i try to disturb its balance it will rock all this rocking toys rocking toys also is a very uh, different topic there are rocking horses rocking cock and uh, there are many uh, toys which will continuously rock basically it's again shifting the uh, uh, rather it is called in a science language it's called a stable equilibrium so this is a very good toy you can make it yourself the another uh, toy which is again based on uh, you must have seen there are different uh, like uh, eagle or uh, butterfly if you just hold it like this it will balance and there are stands for that uh, they will it will balance on that uh, so it's very it you see you just see it balances itself you can make it yourself i will show its version this is made up of cardboard and deliberately you can see its mass is increased here there are two washers here and that the center of mass it gets adjusted and this butterfly will be in horizontal condition very interesting the thing is you yourself can make it that confidence i want to build in you that you should have the feeling yes why not i can make it and again as i told you there this type of birds are available and uh, you can uh, just uh, this also you can make out of cardboard this is again a uh, uh, center of mass so most of the say raw all the rocking and balancing toys are based on center of set i will move to the next uh, set of uh, toys there are spinning toys in fact there are n number of spinning toys this is a special top and you you it's, it's very rich in physics huh? this circular motion or rotational motion is a specific in physics and uh, there are many uh, interesting phenomena uh, uh, rotational momentum and uh, orbital uh, centripetal force centripetal force all those things uh, come in picture we will see some of the toys based on those concept see this particular toy see if i hold it like this and spin it on a smooth surface you will find it will invert itself as long as it's uh, uh, spinning with particular speed it will be uh, spinning up but after certain speed it's gradually comes like this and becomes like this so that upside comes downside 
it's very interesting and there are many uh, if you see it's uh, it's hollow and because of that its mass distribution is uh, not uniform if you see the normal top normal top its mass distribution is uniform about its axis so but because of that uh, this non uniform mass distribution you will find this after certain speed it uh, becomes vertical or rather said upside down it's very very interesting talk and again uh, this is the traditional version or i will say uh, organic version this is the plastic one this again uh, you can see colorful but uh, again it's hollow so it doesn't give see again i told you uh, this is the traditional knowledge that particular toy should be make, made up of particular uh, wood the different although it appears that all woods are same but it's not though teak wood is different uh, or uh, there are different types of wood and uh, devadar is different it has different properties or carving uh, some are hard some are, some are soft density is more density is less all those uh, properties those the rural artist artisans they know that they may not be using uh, terminology which you use in our uh, science or a modern science but they have this traditional knowledge and also for uh, making this toys they use uh, of course nowadays they use modern uh, 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 tools but in old days they used to use tools made by themselves so all this skill huh? nowadays people talk about the skill development uh, uh, we people also talk about the what are the properties of the physical properties chemical properties all those things but they were also knowing all these properties of materials for uh, whatever they, of interest for them and that is their traditional knowledge and uh, rather say used to be uh, continued from generation to generation that uh, grandfather will tell to his son and son will tell it to grandson so they used to continue like this so that is there is uh, another toy very nice toy again from body again i will say it is an organic toy see then uh, this is a sort of a handle or launcher if you just hold it like this and uh, suppose if i wind a thread <clears throat> and if you just if i just pull this you just see this this is almost slipping top huh? it is almost you can see uh, see this uh, i will rotate in different fashion but you can see very calm toy it's uh, almost slipping you will not find that it is mo moving so the why it is so because its mass distribution is uniform all around another thing is its surface area is very smooth so the friction with uh, surrounding air is minimum see you cannot uh, what you can say avoid this uh, friction totally but you can minimize it so uh, this surface is so smooth that friction is very less another thing is the tip which touches this uh, surface of the table is also very small because of that the loss because of the friction is minimized and because of that it can rotate for long time and it's not only that you see when it uh, miss uh, that speed comes down it starts this particular this axle which starts motion like this this is called precision motion and uh, you try to understand this precision motion rotational motion all those things uh, very interesting and uh, you can also miss how much force is required to pull this so if i pull it very slowly what will happen if i pull it very fast all those you think you can understand and apply the laws of uh, physics and analyze it the way you want but again i tell those who are interested other people can definitely enjoy the toy and let me tell you uh, there are uh, if you google many uh, competition conducted 
for rotating for, for rotation rotating different types of uh, tops and there are different technologies different shapes and people with the designs uh, which will rotate for longer time they have all applied their practical experience and develop the uh, those toys there's another toy many of you must have seen it's called magic pipe or different people call it with a different name uh, i will use it little like this so that uh, that action uh, will not be there if you see here this ball will float in air the question is why it floats in air when i blow it can very well go off or fly off no but it doesn't fly off it remains in that particular zone and when i stop blowing it again come this particular basket and sits there why it is so it because there is something called bernoulli's principle and bernoulli's principle is applicable for fluids fluids means gas and liquids what bernoulli's principle says in nutshell the very crude language wherever velocity of fluid is more pressure drops and to feel that drop in pressure the surrounding fluid come to fill that uh, vacuum or fill that uh, cavity so in this case when i blow the air comes out from this uh, uh, hole and when it comes out its velocity is more so because of that pressure drops when the pressure drops the surrounding air around this try to come in this particular zone and it will make sure that this ball remains above that when i stop blowing gradually it comes down. and uh, i don't know whether uh, how many of you but uh, many of uh, rural children uh toy it's a locally made uh, out of that uh, cylindrical tube uh, which is there in other uh, that thread bundle reel reel jo aata hai na wo thread ka uske sath aur wo they use a particular uh, type of a seed which is spherical in shape and they make their own toy in fact uh, as i told you I, when i went to one of the school uh, we also made it out of uh, bamboo and this version is available i will show you you can yourself try making this and uh, this again homemade look with locally available material if you do not get bamboo see this is the in body or uh, rather the pen which is of out of use now that uh, refill is exhausted and out of this pen body i have made again same toy you can see you can make that it's again bernoulli's principle is applicable and let me tell you bernoulli uh, although he has developed that i mean he had come uh, understood that principle and all but he was a student of medicine he was not student of physics it's very interesting many nowadays people say that people uh, physics people should not uh, uh, rather than i poke their nose in uh, biology and people say that we, we don't know what is the physics it's not that all these barriers are man made barriers we should try to understand or try to learn more and more and more uh, things not necessarily science you should learn uh, different languages you should learn different uh, sports see you should uh, what do you say i mean you should improve your face value the as i told you uh, this is another very small tie you may not be able to even see but we used to use uh, you know during, during our childhood i have retained it uh, since my childhood see this is made up of particular type of uh, uh, metal sheet uh, it's called uh, patra that uh, metal sheet has a certain property it's quite hard and because of that it when you bend it bend it it gives that particular type of uh, sound and its commercial version is available and it's uh, rather also modern version see 
and this is nowadays used for training the dogs let me move to the next set of toys See, this is the traditional toy i just showed you uh, one from savantwari this is our traditional toy and to uh, spin that this toy we need that string and uh, there's a skill no, no uh, anybody at uh, tom and harry cannot uh, spin it but if you practice it anybody can do this it's only matter of practice and there are some people uh, they just spin it and directly take it on their uh, palm there are some uh, there are different actually uh, sports or uh, rather than game uh, which are uh, sort of competition and games uh, who will win which uh, spin uh, top will spin for longer time you uh, the stability of the top of the this spinning top is mainly based on uh, its height more the height more it's unstable so height has to be a maximum possible uh, less at the same time its diameter has to be more so if you optimize this parameters means its uh, uh, diameter and height at a particular uh, height and diameter you will find that it lasts for longer time in marathi it is called tawli tawli is a, a, a sort of a, a pot and if it is of that pot like a mushroom so if it is of that uh, shape then uh, it will spin over time so that is what is exactly uh, made here this is also i will say it's the modern version of that is the uh, i will say organic version this is a modern plastic version again spinning makes it different it's also called scope but the what i told that uh, optimizing the parameters they have increased the diameter and uh, minimize the height so it rotates for long time and the mechanism is again gear you see there is a gear inside so if i put it like this and uh, just pull it it will spin but it has that spinner or flywheel which is a quite heavy it is inside the outer body so when i just pull it quickly it will start spinning i will show you it's very interesting toy oh, now it is rotating you just remains vertical now the question is why it remains vertical now if i take it hand I, after some time also if i hold it it will remain vertical but when that inner wheel starts spinning and then i if i try to put it you see now it is maintaining its uh, vertical position but gradually slowly when it comes to zero then it will become horizontal now when it is moving, and now if to hold it like this vertical it will fall down it will topple why because the inside uh, flywheel is not spinning and it's very interesting to know now that battery is exhausted otherwise and if i try to open its uh, mass distribution uh, disturb so i did not open it but it has a sound effect when it spins it gives some sound not only sound it also has a optical effect when you spin it there is something called centrifugal fuel or sorry centrifugal switch that centrifugal switch there is some metal component when you spin it to go away from the center and when it tries to go away from the center it touches another uh, metallic part which is conducting and this works as a switch when this circuit is completed the leds which are there very tiny leds they start glowing and when they rotate in particular fashion you also see the persistence of vision you find the circles so it's very simple toy but so many concept centrifugal switch led persistence of vision again this uh, uh, stable equilibrium non stable equilibrium uniform mass distribution spinning motion gear so many concept in a very simple and uh, uh, small toy
and it's very much optimized you know? it's not like uh, just like that uh, see they have must have worked for a long they have studied so, so many things and they have come up with this design so uh, although this is also equally good i will not say this is not but it has some additional things like that persistence of vision and uh, your spinning mechanism is different uh, i don't need more space for spinning this if i have to spin this of course let me tell you that for spinning this uh, there is another version you just see this is a made up of plastic again wooden are also available in this uh, now if i just pull this it will spin this are this doesn't need uh, more space and this also you will find that uh, very smooth very calm top uh, you can say sleeping top people call it as a sleeping top as if uh, it has forgotten everything now it is in sleeping mode uh, it's not giving any uh, thing and it appears that it is uh, steady but all those properties are because now as i told you its height is very less they have optimized the diameter so that it will uh, spin for longer time and the spinning mechanism also they have improved in this case it was gear in this case it is a spring there is another version of this. see our even this uh, uh, wood uh, as i told you this traditional spinning top is nowadays available in plastic so basically yeah, but there are masses are different so because of that masses that the time they spin are different this is another version of that so again uh, see you can uh, again this is a pot you are storing the potential energy and there's a button you when i press it you 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 find see you can find again very smoothly it is spinning very interesting miss uh, if i allow it to spin it will spin for about one and a half uh, minute so all these things are uh, you can say see this is another toy when i just throw it it will come down when i throw it it will come down but when i say expand it will expand why it expands because when i say expand that time i am doing some trick and then it's nothing it actually it is a science principle when i say expand i give it spin i am rotating little bit when i spin it the every particle on this body tries to go away from the center and when it goes away from the center it expands because the friction is very less so it opens very easily and this also in most of the uh, uh, cities nowadays it is available uh, even uh, bigger sizes are also available when i do uh, a stage show i have a bigger version almost uh, 11 inches big uh, when it is closed becomes open it is almost more 1 uh, 1/2 feet it's very interesting so uh, you can learn many uh, concept of uh, friction and uh, centrifugal force this is another toy this also this toy uh, i will say it is a traditional uh, i am retaining this toy for more than 25 years and uh, i don't know i never thought that i will have some show but uh, right from my uh, college days i have a, a, a sort of hobby of retaining certain thing so this is one of them so if i just just see It's very interesting toy. There is some thread-like uh, strip here, and when I just push it up, it spins. There are three, four phenomena. When I push it up, what does I? What do I do? Basically, because of this thread, it try to unscrew, and when it try to unscrew, it starts rotating. But if you see very carefully. when it starts rotating you will find that uh, doll which is inside it appears that it is in some sphere why you get that feeling of sphere if i rotate it very slowly you don't get that sphere feeling but when i rotate it with a little more speed 
you get that feeling. It is again connected to the, my earlier uh, demonstration of a toy, which is based on persistency of vision. Drushti Satatya. So when the rotation is 10 rounds per second, then it appears that it is a sphere. Actually, it is a ring. But when it spins with a higher speed, you get the feeling of sphere. Very interesting. Part. And somewhat similar to that, there's another toy. And uh, if I just um, take it out, this, this will fly up. It's click after in a rural area. So this also very uh, popular toy. And uh, this also traditional. I'm seeing this for more than uh, last 25 years. But nowadays, its modern version is available. See this. If you rotate, if you take it out, it will come out and spin. And you can very clearly, it has that thread like or a twisted circle, a twisted structure. And this fan or a helicopter which goes up, if you see very carefully, its blade are tilted a little bit. And when it comes out, that pushes air down, and because of that, it itself lift, gets lifted and it goes up to certain height and then come down. Very interesting try. You can, uh, I think most of the uh, towns nowadays uh, uh, are it's available. But uh, you should try to encourage the toys which are locally made. Huh? Nowadays, people go for, go for uh, those who are having sound uh, financial conditions. They for intern uh, uh, imported toys or uh, toys from different countries. But to have a very rich uh, heritage of toys, and we should try to encourage those local or rather support those people. And they also have equally good and uh, um, equally good toys and uh, physics or science concept wise, they are also equally compatible. We'll move to the next uh, set of toys. You must have seen this. This is very uh, common, but uh, the different uh, versions also. See, you can um, basically I will show you even that bigger one is also uh, available with me. This is a bigger one, but somehow this uh, I have from somewhere, but uh, somehow it just this uh, shape also I am not very happy with that. But principle is same. This, if you just hit it. Question is, it's made up of same material, but it gives different uh, tunes. Why? Because uh, if you go to the higher uh, classes, you will uh, learn there is something called natural frequency of vibration. Every object has a its natural frequency of vibration. So when uh, you disturb it or when you hit it it starts vibrating with its natural frequency. And because lengths are different, you can see uh, because of length, their tunes are different. And that is the exactly reason. Now, suppose in kitchen, suppose some spoon falls and uh, you can, you, if in some other room, you can make out the what the object which fall is spoon. If it is sub, sub, suppose some other uh, pot, suppose it is, uh, it is a plate, when it falls down, its sound is different because its uh, natural frequency of vibration is different. So you can make out uh, uh, sitting in some other room what uh, object has fallen down. So it is the same thing. And uh, of course, there are again uh, different versions of this, uh, smaller, bigger.
This is another toy. It is again made up of wood. Basically, there are two balls here, and uh, if you, I don't know whether it will uh, see uh, to this. Uh, there is a cut here. You can see this. There is a cut here, and because of that, it creates uh, some sort of. Uh, you can see this. There is a cut. So and it's a this is the modern version or plastic version. It is same. Size are same, but this is organic. This is organic. the question is why it creates this sound? Because if you see it shape carefully, when it hits this, as I told you, see every sound is nothing but the vibration of air. Air molecule vibrate and they reach to your air drum and you uh, listen uh, particular sound. But how does vibrate it? That is important. See here, as I told you, when I hit this, when I it hit this, it vibrates with its uh, natural uh, fit vibration, and its shape is designed such that. This vibration get multiplied. It's called multiplication of sound waves, and because of that, sound is little more. And this is another uh, uh, toy, which is. Now the question is why it gives different tunes? Because length of vibrating column varies, and when the length of vibrating column varies, nodes and antinodes from inside the tube are at different positions, and because of that, that tune changes. And when the tune changes, you listen different sounds, and this is. This is the piston inside. It's it's made up of bamboo. It's another or rather better version, a sophisticated version, is this. This is also made up of wood. And let me show you. With this is a homemade. I have made it myself. This is monotonous. You see. This is made up of uh, uh, this electrical. Uh, use this pipe for uh, electrical fitting. I have made it. There is a just cross cut here. There is a hole here. But this is only one tune. In this toy, they were changing length of air column by pushing and pulling the piston. Here I am doing different. See, I have this uh, diameter pipes are chosen so that. This smaller diameter pipe can go easily inside this bigger diameter. Now I am changing the length of vibrating column by moving this pipe. So, so simple. You can make this toy yourself. I will show you the another version of this toy. This is a tube. And this bottle, you can take any pot. Just see, I have tube in here, and if I blow, you will get particular tune. Now, I have to change the length of vibrating air column. Principle is same. Material available is in your surrounding, so you can make this toy yourself and enjoy. It's very simple toy, but it's only uh, how you uh, think about it. This is another toy. I will keep it that water should not spill off. This is a traditional toy. I will show you. Uh, it's the spinner.
just say experience now you can use different concept with this you can have uh, that uh, so called newtons disk on this seven colors so you will find when they rotate uh, you will form that white color and not only that you must be listening some sort of sound that sound is because it's a speed and there are holes when that air passes through this hole it gives some sound so and you will find that particular fashion if you pull it and push it in particular then only it will spin otherwise if you you are too late then it will slowly gradually come to the stationary state but if you in particular fashion or particular rhythm if you pull and push you can continue it for long time this is the uh, organic version now i will show the modern version see this is made up of plastic make it out of cardboard out of all those uh, caps of uh, uh, cold drink from that also you can make it this again same it's okay no people ask what is the science behind that it everywhere science you should develop that habit how much tension you are applying then what speed it uh, spins all those you can find out so another uh, traditional toy is this whistle made up of bamboo same whistle is giving two different tunes because when you go to the 11th or 12th standard i think in second year bsc depending on different uh, university or board it's a different level but uh, uh, close at one end tube close at oh, both the end uh, what are the notes and anti notes for all those very uh, but you see uh, with this is a toy based on same principle this is both the ends open this is open other end close so, so simple it's so different and on this principle this again uh, somewhat similar to that made up of wood I have different uh, vessel uh, in schools uh, most of the uh, physical education teacher use this see its tune is different and again its tune depend on how, how much is the uh, size of this uh, ball there at the front what is the object inside sometimes it is made up of cork sometimes of some plastic Sometimes it is made up of uh, some metallic uh, ball. So depending on that, its uh, uh, tune will be different. This is made up of plastic, so its tune is different. This is also plastic. Its shape is little different, so its tune is different. So although see, this is another plastic. Uh, if you fill water inside, it gives the uh, choo 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 like a sparrow. and this is a traditional version of that it is made up of uh, that uh, terracotta clay particular type of uh, material which is from rajasthan so uh, traditional toy i will move to the next uh, set of toys There are different balls available. See, um, big balls, small balls, and uh, their properties are different. Although uh, shape of all the balls is spherical, but their properties are different. Their densities are different, and depending on that, their uh, see, tennis ball is different, cricket ball is different, volleyball is different. Uh, so all these balls have different uh, properties. Although they are spherical, you see, this is a special ball. If you see, it jumps very fast. It's not. Uh, it's a solid ball. It, there's no air inside. But still, it's. Uh, if you see, there are impressions on that, and because of that, the property of material is different, and spinning uh, property, or rather, a uh, bouncing property, is very uh, different than other balls. If you just put this, it will not uh, bounce very uh, as strong as it. 
but this way okay. their masses are different their densities are different some of the balls although they are solid they are made up of sponge so they are very lightweight there are balls made of uh, this uh, um, thermocol they are very light and they are used normally used for the uh, decoration but you can use this for that bernoulli toy which i showed with that it uh, it's very easily you can make uh, with that uh, those uh, thermocol uh, ball the uh, another miss i started with a paper toy uh, with paper with cardboard with wood with cloth you can make toys with different materials see this is a simple toy okay deliberately i have named uh, put uh, a b c d you have to put uh, like this and uh, to save time i have made it if you just drop it from height it will it comes with uh, some spin but i want to show something more than that see this, this is the commercial version of that it's very simple toy and it has some uh, sort of a rubber launcher so when i just take it like this and during night if i just uh, launch so it will go up and while it will while coming down it will spin like this because it's a uh, shape of this blade but it has some additional thing there is a led to increase the uh, weight at the they have put a battery a small that the button cell and to those button cells they have attached a led light emitting diode and when it comes down it's very beautiful miss uh, it glows and uh, that particular uh, that uh, led multicolor led so it changes its color and it spins and when it is dark it appears with like a fire fly very interesting toy uh, it started with when see which is our traditional toy but uh, with this if you spin it at Like late night, and not only that. Where basically again you can uh, uh, end with in the principle of potential energy. When you stretch it, it stores some energy, which is a potential energy. To release it, it gets converted into kinetic energy. Those things also you can explain. This is another toy. Again, it is uh, from uh, Savantwadi, uh, from Maratha wooden toy, traditional toy. See. it is called wool paper wood picker so the uh, wooden uh, pickers will gradually come while when they are uh, vibrating and again it is a uh, uh, there are different uh, center of mass friction uh, stable equilibrium and uh, gravitational force those things can be explained you can see very uh, gradually they come and if that uh, center of mass gets disturbed now you just see if if i start only one at a time and now uh, you have homemade version of that see this is a uh, uh, just bird shape cardboard and uh, i have put some spring here and through that spring i have put a rubber so when i just put it like this you will see this bird gradually comes and uh, again that uh, is the where is the center of mass uh, this uh, gravity how it pulls then uh, how this what should be the diameter of that spring what should be the uh, tension in the rubber all those things matter and when it comes down very means the beauty of the thief this particular toy is that any child can make it and uh, when they see in action this people call this action toys or steady toys so the action toys means when a toy, some toy is making uh, the movement it's called action toy so all this classification is different but uh, see this is another very interesting toy huh. traditional magnetic yo yo you must have seen this is a different version of that see when i you can see in particular 
when 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 it is rotating when it is spinning it uh, spins because the magnet all those things are there but when it crosses particular speed it starts glowing the question is what makes it to glow as i told you uh, in one of that uh, wavelet uh, thing there is a centrifugal switch inside and centrifugal is the switch is great thing there are two metal parts one of the metal parts is very flexible like a spring very smooth spring and when it starts rotating that spring tries to go away from the center and touches that another metallic part and when it touches to the mechanic that the circuit gets completed and those leds glows but it doesn't touches up to certain speed because the when the speed is more the centrifugal force is more as long as it doesn't cross that particular speed it will not glow the same thing is here again uh, friction because of uh, friction it start after certain time if i continuously when what how much uh, that amount of friction whatever is the loss if i give the jerk every time it will continue like this but if i stop giving the jerk after certain time it will stop this is one more traditional toy some of you must have seen this uh, this is the acrobat and uh, it will jump or it will do some exercise and uh, but let me tell you again it's commercial or uh, non organic version is available so you can explain the center of mass a stable equilibrium and uh, tension in the spring all those things you can see this case this uh, material property is very important that uh, elastic property also to some extent is a elastic so that elastic property is also uh, taken into account when this uh, uh, mr rural uh, artist made this they use that elastic property of wood it is plastic and they are using rubber i have made it uh, deliberately i did not make uh, see the shape is different deliberately i have kept that you should get the feel that it is not uh, uh, commercially available or uh, it's not uh, uh, it is a homemade you know you must be know because of specially i cannot but uh, you see when you release it it goes down again if i give the jerk then it will come and continuously i can keep it up and down up and down up and down But that again depends on how much jerk you are giving if i give too less jerk then it will not come up to the uh, initial position because every spin every time when it goes down it loses its energy to come up again it has to work against the gravity so there also it loses the energy so every time it loses energy so it gradually it comes to the uh, stationary state but every time you be if you give jerk then it will regain that much energy and every time it will come to the initial state and uh, you can continue as long as you want and it's mr organic version is also available it has additional feature because it has a bearing and in addition to bearing because of it being a metal mass is more so it has a more <coughs> angular momentum so because of that it uh, spins with more uh, speed there are many different uh, this is another uh, of course its uh, traditional version is also available i, I don't have it ready now But you can see this very interesting toy. But if you rotate in our opposite direction, it will not. And give the concept of uh, one way. See in uh, LED, there is something called wall, light emitting diode. A diode is it is a wall. Wall is nothing but it's a one way traffic. And what is that one way traffic? Electrons can move in direction, not feed connected to the positive and connected to the negative. Then only there will be a conduction of uh, otherwise if it is opposite 
P is connected to negative and N is connected to positive wave conduction. So that type of thing is basically one-way traffic or wall. Uh, our bicycle will pump the air. That air goes from pump to the, but it doesn't come out. That is one-way traffic. Somewhat similar to this. If you rotate it, it will give sound. If you rotate in opposite direction, you will not get that sound. This is very traditional toy. When you rotate it, spin it, uh, its legs and hands will go away. This is a modern version of that. If I just push, you'll find it will raise its hand. Again, based on centrifugal force. So this is again on centrifugal force. When it spins, all this uh, uh, vertical uh, string will go away from the center. And right from childhood, most of us have uh, tried but we hardly or rarely try to correlate with the, and this is a, uh, I will say traditional one. So when you spin it, you will find that those vertical things away from the center. So friends, with this uh, top here, let me tell you all story before I end. Uh, there was a bicycle, uh, shop paper. so he used to maintain the bicycles of the villagers he used to repair the, their uh, skulls and he was having two so the, uh, whenever he used to go to the nearby for buying the spares for the bicycle repairing he used to buy something some sweets or something every time once he bought a toy somewhat similar to what I showed as a helicopter. And that one toy was shared by two of his sons. And that single toy, which was very crude toy, very simple toy, very low cost toy, it inspired them to invent some object which will fly in the air. And that is aircraft. And you know his, their name, they are Wright Brothers. If that small toy can inspire them to find or discover the airplanes or aircraft, there are many toys which are available and they, are, they operate on a remote control thing. Remote sensing is available, uh, used in that. So with those toys, I'm sure that you will get a lot of inspiration and you will also try to invent something and uh, that will be a right thing to, uh, Mr. rather right message uh, to give for this uh, National Science Day. With this, I will stop here. Thank you very much. I hope I was audible. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. The session was just amazing I, and I wish our students must have enjoyed your session. The collection of so many toys on different simple science concepts shows your involvement and efforts in popularizing science among common people. Even we, the teachers, have learned a lot from this program. Once again, thank you, sir, so much for demonstrating simple and age-appropriate activities to our students who are reading some of the concepts in the class. I am more than sure that our children will make some innovative, traditional, but scientific toys during this summer vacation. On the concepts, center of mass, action, reaction, persistence of vision, different sound producing devices as demonstrated by you, they can also add to that. I would like to thank our esteemed principal, sir, Dr. Keshav Chandra Satpati 
for organizing such worthy programs, which are highly beneficial, not only for the students, but also for the teachers. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I express my heartfelt gratitude to our academic coordinator, Madam Indira Bhattacharya, for her constant support and true guidance. I express my thanks to the Department of Science, Computer Science, and Quiz for conducting the program smoothly. At last, but not the least, I would like to thank each and everyone who are directly or indirectly involved in this program to make it a successful one. Thank you so much.